I'm Amber. And I'm Katie. This is BBC News reporting live from Denny High School with the latest and greatest information. We have a variety of sections including top stories, international news, Scottish and local news, entertainment, sports, strange news and weather. Our top story is a shocker about nerve gas presented by Charlie. Thank you Amber. Sergei Skripal, the Russian spy, and his daughter Yulia were targeted by the nerve agents Novichok, which, has developed, which were developed in Russia. They were found nearby the Malting shopping centre. They both remain in a critical but stable condition. The first police officer on the scene was also administered the gas, and he also remains in a critical but stable condition. This has led the UK to administer a vaccination to all British troops against anthrax, the chemical that was used to poison Sergei and Yulia. This has become a, a political war between the UK and Moscow government. Recently, the Moscow government has announced they will soon expel every British diplomat. Sergei Lavrov had this to say to Russian media. Expulsions will definitely happen. Now back to Kate and Amber, back in the studio. Thank you, Charlie. And now here is some horrific intel on Libyan migrants by Leah and Murray. Thank you, Katie. In recent news, the Libyan government has issued 205 arrest warrants for people who are suspected to be involved in smuggling migrants to Europe. Huge numbers of migrants have made it to Libya in attempts of making it to Europe. More than 90 people have drowned in the Mediterranean Sea, most of them Pakistani. On arrival to Italy, people were claimed to be as light as 35 kilograms and to be nothing but skin and bone. One man named Sagan needed help to walk when he arrived because he was so weak and was immediately taken to hospital because of his condition. He died 12 hours after reaching Italy. According to the Mayor of Pinjamo, he looked as if he had been in a concentration camp. Unfortunately, people saw this as an opportunity to make money and offered an easier way of transport for the migrants. Many people have been smuggling migrants into Libya to allow them to make it to Europe. The recently issued arrest warrants include accusations of human, tra human trafficking, torture, murder and rape. And now over to James about the beast from the east. Other news is that the beast in the east has caused people in Scotland to call 999 for inappropriate reasons. There have been multiple messages put up on social media about disruptions in daily life and yet people are still asking about road and school closures. One person has called to ask the police if they could deliver bread to their doorstep because the shops ran out. And then another person asked if the police asked the police where the shop was just so we could buy some cigarettes and alcohol. Chief Inspector Alan Gray says that calls like this are taking advisors away from serious 999 calls. This could be risking someone's life who is in a life-threatening situation and the advisors can't answer because they are occupied with other callers. Most of the calls have been sensible, but others not so much. Other people like uh, ask, people asking to borrow a snow shovel. The red weather alert has increased the amount of calls the police get by 50%. There have been 23,626 people calling 101 and 5,508 people calling 999. Now back to the studio. Next, Harry Styles came out in a song in the British Bake Off Stands Up to Cancer. Harry Styles, former member of boy band One Direction, has allegedly come out as bisexual in one of his newest songs, Medicine. During his concert in Paris, Harry performed the song Though the crowd reckons the lyrics have a hidden message with lyrics such as The boys and the girls here, I mess around with them and I'm okay with it. I'm coming down, I figured out I kinda like it and when I sleep I'm gonna dream of how you tasted. His fans believe that he has hinted at his sexuality and that he could be bisexual. Does this mean that we should consider Harry as an idol to the LGBT community? In other news, a partnership between Cancer Research UK and Channel 4 is an annual fundraising campaign to advance the knowledge and cure to, can cure to cancer. The aim of the charity is to develop new tests and treatment using the money raised. Stand Up to Cancer was established in the UK in 2012, following the example of the USA who established it prior to the UK. 100% of the money raised will go towards funding life-saving cancer research. Over 38 million has been raised using the campaign to date. A few people that are participating are Ella Eyre, Harry Hill, Jamie Lang, Stacey Solman. Over the next five weeks, a charity of a variety of celebrities will be demonstrating the baking skills for a non-profit cause. 
Great British Bake Off aired on Tuesday 6th of March 2018. Thank you, Amy and Charlotte, for the informative stories. And now a messy masterclass, What a Baller, presented by Ben and Luke. Ibrox hosted the third old, game, old firm game of the season last Sunday. As usual, it was an extremely controversial game, with both sides going at it from the start. And sure enough, it wasn't long until the referee had to get his cards out. Rangers got off to a blockbuster start when Desert Boyata tried to be sly by attempting to slide it past Josh Windass, but failing in the process, which led to Josh Windass running through on goal, with the Celtic defence scrambling to get back. Scott Bain came out, but Windass kept his head and finished well, high into the roof of the net. Afterwards, Tom Rodgick had something to say about this. He picked up the ball around 25 yards out and drove it out at Bates. He found a yard of space and calmly placed the ball in the corner, past Fotheringham. However, Bates was caught by Rodgick's trailing foot, breaking Bates' ankle in the process, which led to, him, which led to his early descent. 1-1. Game on. Poor defending from Celtic yet again was their downfall. Declan John played a bouncing ball across the face of goal. No Celtic defender was able to get near it, and it fell perfectly for Candias, who struck it hard and low into the bottom left corner, past Scott Bain. It wasn't long before Celtic responded. In the 45th minute, Scott Brown picked up the ball in his own half and played a long ball over the top towards Moussa Dembele, who took a nice first touch before chipping the Rangers goalkeeper, who was on his way out. However, in the 56th minute, Sumunovic was sent off for an elbow on Rangers striker Alfredo Morelos. Brendan Rodgers knew he needed to freshen things up. He decided to bring on Odson Edward. Then in the 68th minute, just two minutes after he was subbed on, Odson Edward picked up the ball at the edge of the box before cutting inside and smashing the ball into the top right corner to steal it for Celtic. The game ended 3-2 to Celtic and Olivier and Cham was named man of the match. Now over to Ben for the match report on, Celtic, not on Chelsea Barcelona. Barcelona faced Chelsea last night in a crucial Champions League round of 16 match. The first leg ended 1-1 in a boring encounter at Stamford Bridge, with both teams not at the races on the night. However, the second leg was one to watch, with Messi bagging an early goal from a ridiculous angle, sliding it through the goalkeeper's legs within the third minute, leaving Chelsea with an uphill battle to get a goal back. Shortly after, in the 20th minute, Umtiti made a fantastic sliding block to stop Hazard's cracking left-footed effort. His clearance reached Chelsea's back line and immediately put them under pressure. Messi stole the ball from Fabregas and the counter was quickly on. He then glided past Azpilicueta and Zappa Costa as if they weren't even there, Slide, before sliding through a low ball to Ousmane Dembele, who took one touch before firing into the top left-hand corner with his right foot, giving Courtois no chance and upping the score to two goals to nil. Just before half-time, Marcus Alonso came agonisingly close from a set-piece, clipping the top right-hand post. Then, in the 63rd minute, Jordi Alba nicked the ball off of Aspel Equator, immediately starting the counter-attack. Messi then makes an overlapping run down the left wing, past Suarez. He receives the ball and takes it by Cahill and Moses before once again not Megan Courtois to seal his 100th Champions League goal and a fantastic brace which put Chelsea's Champions League dreams to a halt for this season. Thanks Ben and Luke and next a riveting story about the man from the year 4000 by Alyssa. A man claims that he is 132 years old and he is a time traveller from the year 4000. He says that he is 132 but only looks 25 because he's been injected with health since birth. He claims to have brought back pictures of the future, what cars will look like. These cars had the ability to hover with the use of propellers instead of wheels. He also claims that domestic animals such as cats and dogs will become extinct. He says that in the future, robots will be doing human jobs, like the, and they look like the robot from Fallout, Mr Handy. Thank you, Alyssa. And finally, a weather report from Rachel. I'm Rachel and this is the weather for today. Let's go take a look outside. Well, as you can see, it's one grey afternoon with high winds coming from the northeast, as well as signs of light showers later on this evening. There's been big talk about the Beast of the East Part 2, with another week of being stuck in the house playing board games with your family. The outlook of this week is still Scotland's typical rain at low temperatures of 5 degrees, so better get your umbrellas in. Now back to Amber and Katie in the studio. 
Thank you, Rachel. Now that concludes today's news. Thanks for watching.